based on some previous feedback, I'm gonna record another video utilizing the weight distributing hitch. Um, I'm gonna be using it on a 2008 Chevy Tahoe and a 2021 Coleman Lantern 17B. Uh, this model of the weight distributing hitch is a Fastway E2. And I will do some general measurements and show how this is actually being put on and then um, just kind of go from there so you guys can see what a weight distributing hitch does and how it affects um, your vehicle when being used. When I picked the camper up, I kind of had the weight distributing hitch put in. Um, so we'll, we'll see how close everything is with this. Looking at the Coleman, from the ground to the top of the ball should be about 22 inches. Now the camper is level from front to back. So for traveling purposes, this is about the distance, the height that you want the camper to be resting at uh, as you're traveling. We will measure the distance on the front and the rear gaps of the Tahoe. Uh, we are going to use the wheel arch as our line of reference. So in the rear, it's just underneath 37 and a half inches for the rear um, of the vehicle. On the front of the vehicle, we are at like 36 and 7 eighths of an inch. Now, this Tahoe has approximately 205,000 miles. The front suspension, front suspension has been replaced. The rear has not. So we will attach the weight of the camper to the Tahoe and see how it affects our measurements. So once again, it was about 37 and a half inches in the rear and 36 and 7 eighths for the front. At this point, I will back up and I will attach the Tahoe to the camper. Our measurement is about 25 inches from the ground to the top of the ball, which means that it is currently about three inches higher than what it should be. Okay, the Tahoe is attached to the camper at this point. There is absolutely no weight on the ground. It's all resting on the back of the Tahoe. Uh, let's give a measurement to see where we're at. Remember about 22 inches is where we needed to be at for the camper to sit level while towing. We are currently at about 20, somewhere in between 23 and a half to 23 and seven eighths with just using a hitch. Now let's measure our rear opening, our rear, rear wheel opening and our front wheel opening. We are down to 36 and a quarter inch for the rear. And in the front, we are at 37 and a quarter. So let me write that down. The hitch weight of this camper is um, somewhere around it says 385 that's without the propane or the battery attached so I'm guessing it's around 400 uh, 425 pounds is what's currently being um, its hitch weight now I will show you the actual process of putting the torsion bars on to get the bars on I'm gonna have to raise camper. 
This does not have a power jack. And as I raise the jack, it's gonna raise the rear of the vehicle with it. This is going to slide into here. Uh, you've got a little pin here you, you raise. That allows it to kind of sit in there. And see, I've raised it enough to where it's just very easy to put this bar on. Now, you can tell it's the top of the bar. because of the way the sticker is. And then also you've got this flat side is the bottom. This angled size is the top. So this has been installed correctly. We'll put this in, which kind of locks that in. Install the cotter pin. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And again, this is for a fast way, E2 weight distributing hitch. Pretty easy to get that side on as well. That cotter pin is in. Now, we'll lower it again to where all the weight is resting back on the rear of the Tahoe. Okay. For travel purposes, you'd raise it all the way up. Uh, we're just going to use it for measurement, measurement purposes. We will measure this. And see where we're at. We are at a little bit underneath 25 inches so about three inches um, higher than it would be for the camper to um, travel perfectly level and we can see on here on the level itself you can see the bubble is not in the middle. The camper is not level. Now, let's measure the rear opening and the front opening. Thirty six and a half inches. For the rear, and for the front, 36 and 7 eighths. Uh, 36 and 3 quarters. As you can see, with the weight distributing hitch, the Tahoe is riding much more level, much more level than without the weight distributing hitch. And, and the main purpose of the weight distributing hitch is to distribute weight from the rear axle to the front axle. And you can see that it actually, you can see that it's doing its purpose by the fact that 
uh, the measurements have not been, effect, been affected in the rear opening or the front opening as drastically with just it being attached to the hitch. Now, that's with just 400, 425 pounds of weight. Imagine 500, 600 pounds of weight on the um, hitch itself. And, and again, this is the Fastway E2 hitch. These bars are made specifically for 6,000 pound maximum uh, trailer weight and 600 pound maximum tongue weight. Depending upon your trailer, you would get different bars uh, for towing and Thank you for joining us.